Hi, my name is Matt Ackerson. I'm the founder and CEO of autogrow.co, as you may already know. And sometimes, as I used to say in 2018, my name is Matt Ack in the Matt hat. But we got hats on today because, hey, we're in the age of coronavirus and uh, getting a haircut's a little hard to come by. Barbers aren't open. All right. So today, Alex, we're talking about, and Mariana, we're talking about the uh, top strategies. We're going to go over six beginner strategies for how to increase your website traffic without spending a single dollar, without spending any money. So these are free strategies, free in terms of they don't cost you any money. You don't have to spend a lot of time on them. You have to spend money on expensive ads in order to successfully ex execute them. Just requires a bit of elbow grease, uh, a little bit of effort. And if you have an existing inbound marketing process, they can get integrated into your process fairly easily. All right. So, uh, Alex, which is the first? Yeah. So the first one we're going to talk about is focusing on writing better quality and highly clickable titles and introductions on your blogs. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I would say about this one is this is where we just, even in the last three weeks have seen a lot of growth just by focusing on this alone. Uh, so for example, our process at AutoGrow is, uh, when we're, when we're writing titles is we will write, uh, 20 titles, 20 different variations of the same title. And why do we do that? Well, we do that because we want to get sort of like a, a, a nice creative spread, you know, everything from, okay, this title is not going to work, but it gets kind of the creative juices flowing. So maybe the next one that we come up with is a little bit more, uh, interesting or compelling in some way. And maybe that one is one of the four that we test. But then we take the top four, it's a thunder, thunder and lightning storm here, uh, in case you hear the background rumble. So we take the top four from that 20, and then we are able to A-B test. Uh, we, we put the subject line into the email, and, uh, and that's, those are our top four titles. And then the winning subject line becomes the final title of the article. And it's really basic, but often will make the difference in terms of getting it, not just in terms of people actually clicking through at a high rate, you know, we aim for at least, you know, one to one to 2% is, is the sweet spot for, for article click throughs, um, with a, with a newsletter, but, um, it affects an, in a large way, the, uh, the click through rate when it comes to Google rankings. So, uh, one of the key factors for how Google decides to rank your content is the click-through rate. Uh, so basically by testing it in this way and by focusing on writing uh, higher quality, highly clickable titles, you can rank higher, but you also get better engagement you know, for your newsletter, uh, which I believe is also strategy and tip number two, which is to send an engaging, I know I'm jumping ahead of your little, Alex stole your thunder, I'm sorry, but it's thundering here, so what can I say? Um, so. Uh, strategy number two, sending an engagement, uh, engaging and consistent newsletter to promote your content. Um, so Alex, what, what, what would you say about this one? Because I kind of covered some of it. Um, well, actually, one thing that we've also been doing that kind of goes off of the first one is we've been spending more time on tweaking introductions. So usually we have two editors edit the writer's intro, but now you're a little bit more involved in the process. And now we're like taking an even closer look at the intros, which build up our newsletters. Like our, our newsletters are based off of the intro of the article that we're sharing. So yeah, um, I guess that covers the engaging part, but consistency too. Like you want people who opt in to follow you they want to know when you're sending stuff out, when they can expect your next piece of content. So yeah, we just, we stick to a schedule and a calendar. Yep. So we're, we're publishing twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays right now, because for us, for our market, for our audience, you know, for our website, we found that that is when engagement is, is highest. So we're very consistent about sending on Tuesdays and Thursdays every single week. Um, and the benefit of being consistent with it, even if you're just publishing once, once every two weeks, let's say, maybe you're really busy, I would recommend doing it at least once, once a week 
but it has a, a compounding effect in terms of the growth of your traffic. Um, but also, you know, Alex, as, as you were kind of pointing out too, in terms of actually the construction, you know, of that newsletter for promoting the content, you know, it's, you don't have to spend a lot of time for it to be a successful newsletter. You can just literally do what we do, which is just keep it simple, you know, cause we're, we're on a schedule. We have a certain budget in terms of time. So we just focus on making the intro. Uh, we just take the intro from the actual article that we've written and we put that into, uh, into the newsletter itself. And that becomes the body of the newsletter. And that's, that's really it. So. Yeah, so number three is build your articles around nailing specific keywords, like high volume, low competition ones, but don't get too spammy with it because people can see through that pretty easily. And yeah. So the search engines, they can see through it even easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you don't want to keyword stuff, you know, that's kind of a, an old tactic that people used to try to do. Um, you you want to like, we still put the keyword in most cases in the title itself and kind of construct the, uh, the title around that target keyword. But one of the top benefits to actually doing it this way is because you're not, number one, you're not shooting in the dark. Okay, you're not saying, okay, well, I have an idea for a topic that I think is on a subject that, you know, my audience, my target market wants to hear about. No, actually, you're, you're picking a specific keyword and you know that it has some amount of search volume, meaning that people are looking for resources, answers, whatever it might be around that keyword. So it, it, it validates the idea that there's, you know, part of your market is searching for that keyword. And second, it gives you something very specific to aim at because, you know, for example, when, um, when we're working on and I'm, I'm rewriting the, the titles and the introductions and, and editing through the body, for example, you know, I'm constantly thinking, okay, you know, are, I kind of think if I was in the shoes of someone who was searching for this term, what would I be searching for? And are we kind of fulfilling the promise of, or the need that someone has who, who's searching for that keyword. So again, it gives you that uh, the key thing to aim at. And I think that these best practices, like they, they don't only like help you, you know, increase traffic, which is the main goal, but I think it does contribute to, uh, for the, for the person to actually get better at those things. Like for example, with the first one, which was to, you know, write, uh, the titles like 20 times like when we first started doing it at least for me it felt like oh my god 20 titles but then you actually get better with time and you and you actually see you know like uh, like the differences between those titles it's not just you know copy pasting and you know tweaking just one word it's just being creative creative and you know actually like nailing you know a compelling uh title mm -hmm. Yeah, because over time from, from doing it more and more, you kind of, you, even if you get bored with it, because 20 might sound like a lot to, and like, you want, okay, what, what kind of bang for my buck in terms of time am I getting from that? But even if you get bored from doing that, you know, you kind of like what I found is I'll, I'll kind of like, I would get bored from doing it so many times, but then in that boredom, I, I would just want to write like a more creative title to almost like entertain myself some more. And that kind of often will lead to a better quality title that in, in one case, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I, I don't remember exactly, or maybe it was uh, two or three weeks ago. I don't know if you remember the article, Alex or Mariana, but I wrote a title that was a little bit sarcastic. Um, like it put something in quotes or it used kind of like, you know, like a common phrase or something like this. And it made me laugh, but I was like, let's, let's use it. Let's test it out as one of the top four. And it, and it actually, it won uh, by a significant margin compared to some of the others. Um, so you learn to do things like that. You learn to like input, you know, certain adjectives maybe. Um, and just, we're kind of going backwards a little bit, but just to finish on this point, you know, if you want to know, I think what I would say is 80% of, of writing an effective title, if you're just kind of a beginner or you're starting from scratch, use a prime number, you know, seven best examples of blah, 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 or how to, but stick with those to start, you know, don't, don't go with questions or start with a why, you know, because we found again and again and again, and there's a lot of third party research that backs this up too from past articles we've written. Um, you can go check that out. But um, it, it just, uh, those types of titles don't, don't convert as well. 
Yeah, so for number four, I think you're going to have to talk about this one a lot, but use a free CDN content delivery network like Cloudflare, Cloudflare to speed up your website. Right. So Cloudflare is completely free. Uh, it, it takes about, you, you may need to uh, request the help of a developer to help you set it up. And if you want to delegate that task, I would actually recommend, you know, one more reason for you to sign up and give AutoGrow a try because with AutoGrow, insert plug, uh, you can delegate all of your digital marketing tasks. And this is a little bit technical, but uh, CDN, Content Delivery Network, as you were saying, Alex, and what does that mean? It just means that, you know, let's say that your server is in uh, Houston, Texas, right? So center of the US, uh, but someone is trying to load you know, your website from Australia. Well, you know, the information can only travel so fast. It travels pretty fast, you know, pretty close to the speed of light, you know, all the silicon bouncing from one server to the next around the globe to load into your computer in Australia. But the benefit is of a CDN is that they have servers all around the world where they can preload a lot, if not your entire uh, website or, or pages of your site so that when you are in Sydney, Australia, and you, you know, boot up autogrow.co, for example, to load it, it loads significantly faster because it's maybe loading from a server that's just around the block, perhaps literally. And uh, why is a faster website better? Well, it gives a better experience for people who are on your website. Uh, there is research that has shown that, like on Walmart's web website, for example, they found that for every uh, for every second decrease in terms of page load time, that sales increased by something like $10 million uh, for every second decrease. So it's, it's really significant. Uh, people don't want to wait for web pages, especially, you know, in this age where uh, more and more, of, it, the internet's very fast, you know, whether it's you're, you're on a phone or you're on a uh, uh, cable uh, modem or something else, everyone expects it to be fast. So, so that's benefit. And, and it helps you to rank higher. Google takes that as a ranking factor too. So uh, Cloudflare helps you to rank higher and it can also secure your website too, which is another factor in conversion rates because it will give you the little green lock icon in the uh, navigation uh, you know, address bar. And that just will further help people to feel secure on your website and rank you even higher in the search results. And added to that, I think some browsers don't even let you access websites that aren't HTTPS secured. Is that right? Yeah, or at the very least, they'll they'll warn you. They'll uh, yeah. it's because HTTPS is so common today; it's almost like a requirement um, that they'll actually show it as red. They'll mm -hmm. say, just to be like, "Hey, like your info is not secure on this website." Yeah, right. Don't even if all you're doing is just reading some info. Right. Right. Uh, so one more. Uh, guest posts on other websites and platforms whenever you can. Yeah, so this one is just uh, tried and true and not enough people do it because it it's kind of a two-step process. Number one, you have to reach out to some sort of publication and you have to pitch them on you know ideas that you might have for an article. And the best way to do this is number one, target publications where you know that they have a significant traffic and significant uh, ranking power. Um, you know, don't be afraid if it's like some sort of a, perhaps even an indirect competitor, if they're in the industry and they have significant uh, traffic and they rank well in Google. Hey, if you're, if you're adding value for their audience, you're growing the market overall, they're probably gonna be open to a uh, free piece of content from you uh, because it helps to grow their traffic, helps to engage their audience and helps you because you are, or you should, get some sort of a link back you know, to your website. And I've done this uh, repeatedly, and I've noticed that you know, I'll put a, a significant amount of time into the articles that we'll end up publishing. You know, they're usually like you know, four to 5,000 words each, uh, but we, I more than get back uh, the website, Autogrow, more than get, gets back uh, the return on, on time there because these are authoritative websites in the first place. And that's part of why I put so much effort into in the first, in, in the initial case. Uh, websites, for example, like uh, crazyegg.com, been around for a while. It's an online marketing tool, but they have 
a lot of organic inbound traffic. So even just a single link uh, helps us to get an overall boost in the traffic rankings, in turn boosting the, the uh, traffic for the entire website. Um, because it's not just about the number of links that your website has, but it's also about the, the quality of links. And so uh, we have a significant number of high quality links for that reason. So um, yeah, it's, it's tried and true, uh, reach out, have, have some sort of an example, like a, a, a solid example that you can point to saying, okay, I can write you know, something quality for your audience that looks like this, and these are my top three title ideas, and uh, ask them, what do you think? All right, and that's really the best process. Cool. And, and I think, oh, sorry, go ahead, man. <laughs> and I think the content, you know, the quality of the content matters a lot, right? Because it's not only like guest posting, you know, just to feature, you know, your name or your brand, you know, somewhere else, right? Like, uh, because we have seen in the past people who have been interested in guest posting on Autogrow. And then when we have, you know, reviewed the article, it's like, what are you doing? Like, you just want your name to be featured here, but you know, there, there's no, like really a good quality of the content. Yeah, we get a ton of people who will email us. And if you're watching this and you're interested in posting on our website, this might be a good tip for you. But we get a lot of people who email us saying, hey, can I write an article for your website? In like, I don't know, 30% of the time, the people haven't even checked out our blog and they're pitching something completely irrelevant. You know, So you, you wanna make sure that you're going after blogs like if if your target market is i don't know travel and i don't know you are uh you know you're posting on like a photography equipment blog like it's just it's not a match it's not going to be a match so you want to make sure that for example we write about you know digital marketing and conversions and sales funnels so we would look to write for another website that has published and does publish around those topics, uh, typically speaking. So the the relevance and the connection, because people just they'll just probably ignore your pitch, even if if it's if it shows that you really haven't even shown an interest in, you know, creating a piece of content that's going to line up with their audience. Actually, that kind of sort of leads into the bonus tip. Hey, yeah. we have uh, this is uh, part of the expert strategies part of the uh, article. But it's uh, get other thought leaders to guest post on your website too. So, like uh, speaking about like uh, having quality articles, like you want to bring those types of people in. So you mm -hmm. kind of have to have, uh, I guess, your own established quality in the field. I guess. Right. Right. Yeah. So this is a little bit more of an advanced tip, mainly because it requires a bit more kind of strategy and strategic thinking around it. So if you have a brand new blog and there's no content on it or very little, and you reach out to someone who is a big thought leader in your space, in your market, and you say, hey, come over here. Can you, can you give me some free content? Can you write a 2,000, 3,000 word article? You know, invest you know, five, 10, 20 hours writing something really great and, uh, and put it on my blog, um, which I'll promote to my audience. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be seen as, as a win-win. So a better way often to start, um, and, and a really easy way to even just start building a, a relationship with, with some of the thought leaders and influencers in your market, and just otherwise people who are authorities, experts, is you can start by reaching out for simple quotes. You know, say, say hey, I, I want to, I'm writing about this topic. I just want to get your input on, you know, where do you think this market trend is going? Where do you think this new... Uh, this new news that just came out, how do you think that's going to affect things perhaps? And you take a quote from them. Uh, so you can do that that way. You could also do some sort of a compiled list of, of thought leaders or experts, which is a lot easier because similar to a quote, it's, it's a low time and low effort investment for them. And in return, hey, they're going to get a link and many people will know the, the value of, of a link no matter what uh, market you're in. But it's also easier to do it that way because you can say, hey, you know, I'm reaching out to five other thought leaders or 10 others, and here are some of the ones who we expect to be contributing. So that's an excellent form of social proof so that 
even if you were starting with a brand new blog, you know, nothing really published from scratch, maybe one or two articles even, um, you could still get quality contributions because it's a low time investment for these thought leaders, for these authorities, for these experts in their field to contribute because it gives them exposure and they're gonna get the social proof of being around some of these other people who are also contributing. So it's win-win all around and it's a low time investment. So that's what I would say for that one advanced tip for how to increase your website traffic for free. All right, so I think that's it, right? That's all we got. I mean, all there's right. a bunch of other stuff in the article, but yeah. that's what we have today. That's, that's a great point. So we'll wrap up on that. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube or watching on Autogrow, uh, scroll down. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is gonna be in the description. If you're watching on Autogrow, you can find out uh, about 20, was it 24 other strategies that you can never do math live. You can find out 24 other <laughs> strategies uh, for how to increase traffic for free on your website uh, using content marketing, using uh, inbound marketing, okay? And if you wanna learn more about Autogrow and how you can actually delegate many of the uh, task ideas related to content marketing and growing your traffic to Autogrow and actually building a sales funnel, for example, that will convert, uh, that will actually take much of the traffic that you are generating and convert it into leads, into subscribers, and otherwise just help to grow your business. So you can do that with Autogrow. You can delegate all of your digital marketing tasks. You simply sign up. Uh, it's a fixed, flat monthly fee. You log into our app and you select from over a hundred different templates, everything from landing pages, ads, emails, uh, an entire sales funnel. And you click, 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 you type in a little bit of notes and you literally delegate to us uh, what you wanna get done. So you get work done by clicking and just typing some notes. And you click submit, the idea gets submitted to us. You see the progress bar moving forward from zero to 100%. And it's, it's a really cool feeling to delegate work in that way. You get total transparency, total control. So check us out at autogrow.co. And if you're on a bit more of a tighter budget, I wanna encourage you to check out our online uh, training uh, products. You can go to autogrow.co forward slash products if you wanna check those out. Uh, the products and tools include uh, training such as our six figure sales funnel uh, or our sales funnel diagram pack or our proven sales conversion pack, which is kind of like Google for credible conversion case studies. All right, so with that, I wanna thank Mariana and Alex for coming with me and uh, thank you all for watching. Keep converting, stay focused. <laughs>